so much buzz around the BSc in clinical psychology program that it has been overwhelming. So I felt compelled to address some common questions through this video. Before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and turn on the notifications. It helps support the channel and ensures you do not miss any future content. Also, like and share this video with friends who might be worried about this new degree program. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Number one, why worry about a BSc in clinical psychology? Some of you are worried about this new degree aligning uh, the study of clinical psychology at the bachelor's level with the science stream. This concern often stems from a lack of awareness. Linking clinical psychology to a science degree is actually legit because the field is deeply rooted in biology and statistics. Clinical psychology involves understanding the brain, the limbic system, the interconnectedness of the central nervous system, the enteric nervous system, the peripheral nervous system and so much more. To evaluate and diagnose mental health disorders accurately, knowledge of human anatomy and physiology is so essential. Can someone from a commerce or arts background effectively understand and diagnose these complexities? Think about it. Would you trust a finance graduate to advise you on clinical mental health? They might offer generic advice, but nothing specific to your actual situation. Number two, alternate pathways in psychology. You can still become a psychologist even if you are from a non-science background you can pursue a BA in psychology with a focus on counseling followed by a master's degree in the same field. With good scores, you can become a teacher, a professor, academic advisor, business advisor and more. Clinical psychology isn't the only path. Counseling psychologists manage more subjective aspects of psychology and work in schools, colleges, hospitals, clinics, corporate companies, sports, social work and so many more. Number three, clarifying your philosophy. Why do you want to become a psychologist? What aspect of human psychology do you want to impact? Leverage your natural strengths and align them with your training. If your goal is to help people overcome emotional and psychological distress, then focus on the available options and use them to your advantage. Whether you pursue a BA or MA in psychology, you can still earn a PhD in counseling psychology and include doctor in your name. 4. Fundamentals of becoming a psychologist To become a psychologist, you need a strong foundation. Now you ask me, of what? It's ironic to worry and have false expectations when your job as a psychologist will be to help others stop worrying and set realistic expectations. Calcutta University has always considered BSc psychology graduates for its postgraduate program and no one had any issues about it. I got into IGNU where non-psychology students can study clinical psychology but they still need to complete a one-year PJ diploma in clinical psychology before proceeding toward a doctorate. 5. Be careful of misleading advice, please. This is a very important aspect. Be careful of people who say things to please you. You need things that help you in real life without negative consequences. We are emotional beings. But that does not mean you will let anyone play with your emotions. For example, people now asking, are students from the arts background not capable of being psychologists? I would ask you to pause and rethink. Has RCI said that you cannot become a counseling psychologist, a thought leader in industrial psychology, or that you cannot become the next Anna Freud or Girindra Shikhar Bose? We have to work in systems, and so scientific rigor and alignment must be accepted. Huh. Conclusion Do you still want to become a clinical psychologist through the BSc in Clinical Psychology pathway? If so, why not restudy your 11th and 12th grades in the science stream privately and pursue a BSc? If you are passionate about it, you will make it happen, won't you? Don't be 
be traumatized by the BSc in clinical psychology program from the Rehabilitation Council of India, I would say. Many people opposing this have overlooked the other options. As aspiring psychologists, be open to challenging your beliefs and rethinking your approach. Remember, we have a frontal cortex that allows us to rationalize our expectations. This move by RCI may be good or bad, but it is not devoid of logic. It is very logical. So that's all. Thank you for watching patiently. I hope this video has clarified it all for you. If you have questions, you know what to do. Leave them in the comments. And yeah, have a good day.